if you're interested in uh, in a ceasefire in Gaza, you have opportunities coming up, especially if you're in the New York area, to make that happen through the tried and true method of voting uncommitted. Here's how. You see, all you have to do, hi there, Pixel Jake on this one, all you have to do if, say, you're in New York, is submit a blank ballot. Here's how this works. How to vote for a ceasefire. A guide to voting uncommitted. This is by uh, Joshua A. Cohen for uh, The Nation. The presidential rematch is now official since the Georgia, Washington, and Mississippi primaries on March 13th. Both President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump have accumulated outright majorities of each of their party's total delegates, ensuring that they will both be on our ballots in November, barring unforeseen events, which, which given the ages of both men, can't entirely be ruled out. But presidential primaries continue to occur and are by no means irrelevant for those seeking to register their discontent with Biden's Gaza policy. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but it's a great intro by uh, Mr. Cohen here. We've seen the impact that a robust, uncommitted vote in just the first half of these races has already had on the administration's words and deeds, moving the White House from a full body hug of Netanyahu to talk of a ceasefire and the need for a Palestinian state, it's our task to make sure that momentum is sustained, beautifully put, to send a message and end a war and save a presidency from itself. Here's how those who live in the upcoming primary states can do so. Again, just a fantastic, just a fantastic article by Joshua A. Cohen. Let's, uh, let's, let's give you the summary here. April 2nd, that's tomorrow, folks. Connecticut, Rhode Island, Wisconsin, New York. This set of upcoming conte- contests will be some of the last Democratic primaries to be held in, well, a set. Going forward, most will be on their own days, which has resulted in decreased coverage over the past few weeks. Scrolling down, all except New York will have an uncommitted options, uh, option on the ballot outright, and there are reasons to expect it to do well in each of those states. Pause. So, if you're in Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Wisconsin, all you have to do is vote uncon- uh, uncommitted. Easy peasy. But what about New York? Don't worry. There is a way. <clears throat> If you're, in your, if you're in New York State, vote blank. It's just that simple. You show up. You get your ballot. Your ballot has uh, uh, your information on it. And you submit a blank ballot for the, for the uh, uh, presidential race. All you have to do is literally put nothing on it. It's as easy as doing nothing. That's how you communicate to Joe Biden that his embrace of a genocide in Gaza is not acceptable. April 6th, Alaska. Only a few days later, Wisconsin, uh, after Wisconsin and the, oh my God, Asala Corridor, comes Alaska, where uncommitted will also be on the ballot. So easy peasy. April 13th. Wyoming caucus called undeclared. Uh, it well, uh, it will be called undeclared on the ballot, and I should clarify. In Alaska, that appears to be the same thing. Uh, it's the, it, it's it's the same as uncommitted. So just check in Alaska and in Wyoming, the undeclared box, or rather. Uh, you know, whatever they call it to be uh, uncommitted. So, undeclared. Voting by itself later in April will be the Keystone State, Pennsylvania, where neither uncommitted nor the pro-ceasefire Marianne Williamson will be available options. Given that blank ballots are historically not counted in the state, this presents something of a bind to those in the state wishing to cast protest votes. Right now, 
there is an organization called Uncommitted Pennsylvania calling on people to write in uncommitted on their ballots. Whether or not these votes will be counted is not clear, but local reporting has indicated that the group is contacting election officials to ask them to allocate the ballots. So again, uncommitted uh, will not be an option for Pennsylvania, but it doesn't mean you give up the fight. It's not going to help you especially to vote for uh, Biden in these primaries or even to vote for somebody else in these primaries because that won't have a clear message. But if you write in uncommitted, it sure will. Now, that said, if you don't want to uh, trust the, uh, the Democrats on this one, I don't blame you. So you might consider voting, uh, writing in Marianne Williamston as well. It will have, in my opinion, a similar effect to the uncommitted vote by saying it's somebody other than Joe Biden. But the why of it won't be communicated immediately. Uh, Puerto Rico, same thing uh, as New York. Blank ballot. That's how you uh, vote uncommitted. Indiana. Well, Indiana has not officially, uh, this is May 7th, uh, well, it has not officially canceled its primary. Biden is the only name on the ballot, and write-ins are not available. Very democratic of them. The state has not counted blank ballots in the past. Again, very, very democratic. And there are currently no in-state protest efforts to have endorsed that method or any other in the state. Indiana, folks, is our next goal, and I mention it only. It's a month away. I mention it only because that's where we have to work. Currently, there are no in-state protest efforts. Well, I'll be a very out-of-state protest effort. We will, put, we will find somebody in Indiana who, who is willing to take up this cause, and we will help them. Do let me know. I'm about to return to the Discord. Do let me know if uh, you find anybody from Indiana who wants to take up this cause. Basically, to be a spokesperson. That's all we're looking for. But you have options, as you see there. If you want uh, the details again, just go to the, uh, the link in the description, and that will tell you how you can vote uncommitted. But tomorrow in New York, blank ballots.